Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be solving problem 13 on Project Order, which is the large sum. The question asks to work out the first 10 digits of the sum of the following 150 digit number. Uh, when you first read this question, it's not uh, very wordy, it's not very straightforward, right? Um, it's very confusing what they're asking for. Um, on my first solution, what I did was I just added the individual digits for each string. And I realized that wasn't what they were asking for. So I um, reread the question again and realized that they were actually want us to store this huge number inside of some type of variable. Obviously, a primitive type would not work. So I had to use uh, Java's big integer to solve the problem. And it's pretty straightforward once uh, you figure out what they're asking for. So let's go ahead and actually implement the solution for this. Okay. So I'm going to pull out the IntelliJ idea environment and I'm going to create a class. I'm going to call this one a large sum. And with this particular questions, we have to get the data and I'm going to use a string array for this. So I'm going to do static. It's going to be a string array and I'm going to call this one data. So we can just pull the data from order there. And it's going to be data and I'm going to go ahead and copy the data. So I'm going to go real slow just so that I don't show you guys what the answer is. So let's do this slowly, slowly. Uh, okay, there we go. Copy. Go back to IntelliJ and we can paste it here. All right. So thankfully, IntelliJ does it in such a way that it's easier for me to copy the data. All right. So what I'm going to do here is use the escape sequence here, the slash n to actually split the data into an array, right? So I want to return the array. So all I'm going to do here is pretty much just return the data and then I'm going to use the split method to split it by the escape sequence. And this is it. And uh, we have an array here. Next thing what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and uh, produce the solution for it. And uh, this is going to be a static string because we need to return the substring of the answer. And I'm going to call this one a uh, large uh, submission. So what this is going to do is going to take in the string array. I'm going to call it array. So what we need to do is we need to sum things up. So I'm going to call this variable submission. It's going to equal to big integer dot zero. Okay. Next we want to do is create a for loop. So it's a for loop and this is going to be the index. It's going to start at zero and the index is going to be uh, less than the array length. All right. And then we're going to do the index plus plus. So a simple loop. All right, so what I want to do next is we want to go ahead and actually um, sum the these numbers, right? So this would be a number on its own, and this is going to be a number on its own. The good part about the um, big uh, integer uh, data type is that it takes a string as an argument, right? So we can just pass the string as the actual argument. So what we can say is that submission is going to equal submission dot add and then we need a new big integer and then what we can do is we can take the array and then we can use the subscript which is going to be the index and this is it and now we have this so this is going to go ahead and give us the actual submission but what we need to do is we need to get the substring of this so I can just create a variable here I'm call this str and this is going to be the uh, submission to string. All right, so we want to convert the submission to two string, and then what we want to do, we want to return the actual substring, not split, but substring, and we want to do zero and ten. So we want to return the first ten numbers. All right, and this is it, pretty much. And now we can go ahead here and just uh, test it out. All right, so next thing we do, what we need first is to get the data. So it's a very array, it's gonna equal to the data. 
and then uh, we can do system to out and do the large sum and pass in the array. All right, and let's go ahead and actually um, see what the answer is. And this is what you should get when you solve this problem. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. If you like it, give me a thumb up and um, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about these particular questions, um, just let me know in the comment section below.